As I said at the end of the last video, having amazing projects that are poorly written up is virtually the same as having no projects at all. I cannot overstate the importance of how you showcase and how you communicate the work that you've done, not only in terms of the application of the skills, but the emphasis on clarity, problem solving, communication, and value. Now, the structure that we'll run through here and that all of the Data Science Infinity projects follow, so if you're on the course, these templates are all ready for you to grab in the private group and then load straight into your portfolio site. The structure, it is something that I've designed, again, based on my experience going over more than one thousand portfolios myself, as well as speaking to hiring managers and recruiters about what is important for them. So for this, let's use the causal impact analysis project from the DSI portfolio as our example. And the very first section that you must have, and which is by far the most important, is the project overview. Here we are going to start with some high level context. So what your project is looking to solve and why. Never, ever, 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 ever start with code or complexity or anything else. Why do I say that? Because a huge, huge part of what you must do is make it easy for the reader. Make it easy for them to understand the general gist of what you're doing so they can dig deeper. Make it easy for them to get interested and invested so they want to know more. It is so important to do this and so often missed by candidates. Following that introductory context, provide key highlights from the rest of the writer, because here's the reality. Hiring managers and recruiters, they don't actually have all the time in the world to sift through the nuanced details of what you're doing, especially when they have 50, 75, 100, 500 candidates potentially vying for the role. If you can give them a highlights reel right at the top, this straight away gives them most of what they need to see. So don't be like 90% of candidates and lose them by making it hard or time consuming to figure out why your project is one they should care about. Now, after your project overview sections, you want to introduce and explain the main technique or techniques that you are applying in the project. Show that you truly understand what it is that you're using and showcase your technical communication skills. Following this, include a section dedicated to the data itself and in turn, any preparation or cleaning that was required. Again, this is something almost always missed, but so important for hiring managers to see you highlight and emphasize. Here in the project on screen, we give a bit of information about what was required, and then we showcase the code that we used to put it into action. Only now do we jump into the actual application. Now, for the causal impact project, the application is actually quite simple, so we keep it concise. For other projects, for example, this one here, where we are testing and comparing multiple machine learning algorithms, algorithms, this application section will expand accordingly. We must think hard about what the hiring manager wants and needs to see. After the application section, as we would do in the real world, we need to analyze the results or the outcome. And this is another piece of the puzzle that gets severely underemphasized by most candidates. For this particular project, we have a nice visual showcasing the three key metrics that we're using to quantify the sales uplift. And then down below that, we clearly explain what all of this means. Following the analysis of the results, we have this section here, growth and next steps. Here, you're gonna to wanna to talk about things that could come later once this analysis or algorithm is in place, other algorithms that could be tested or other metrics that could be analyzed, or anything you think might have improved this piece of work if you had more time. If you haven't sealed the deal with a hiring manager already, Trust me, this last section will do it. It shows you don't just do the work, you think about how to improve it. It shows that you're always looking to grow as a data professional. And honestly, these are the most appealing attributes that you can exhibit as a candidate. It is the sort of thinking expected of a senior or a lead. So you can see why this will land you a well-paid role quickly and easily. So if you can create a portfolio of interesting and impactful projects and then showcase them following the structure that we have just discussed, there is nothing holding you back from landing an amazing role in this exciting field and doing so quickly and easily. So there you go, that is an overview of how to make your portfolio of projects work as hard as they can for you in a way that will ensure you stand out from other candidates and put yourself in the best possible position to land that amazing role that you want. That's all for this section. I will see you in the next video.